are all in a go status. T minus two minutes. TPA script running. Hydraulic press at 4,000. CBC LH2 at flight pressure and flight level. T minus one minute, 30 seconds. T minus, T minus one, minute, one minute, 20, 20, seconds, 20 seconds. And counting. Second stage LH2 securing started. National Reconnaissance Office payload L-15 is ready to embark on a national security mission for the United States of America. T minus 60 seconds. Engine the start box, go. Rock, report range status. Range green. Fifty seconds. Forty five seconds. Launch enable enable GE main power off. Main power off. Second stage LH two secure at flight level. Thirty seconds. Great board. Twenty five seconds. Flight lock in. Fifteen. Igniter's armed. Rofi ignition. This is Delta Mission Control at T-minus 10, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. And the RS-68A engines roar to life and lift off of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV Heavy, carrying the NRO L-15 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. NRO systems continue to ensure vigilance from above. Good chamber pressure and holding. 20 seconds in. You're hearing the voice of Steve Agate providing launch vehicle assigned data. Let's listen in. Standing by to go to the partial Still looking good, passing 44 seconds into the flight. Altitude 1.8 nautical miles. Velocity 14,072 feet per second. Downrange distance a little less than a half a nautical mile. Coming up on the one minute mark. Mark, one minute into the flight. Still looking good. Good chamber pressure in the port to starboard boosters in the full power mode and a good chamber pressure in the core in the partial thrust mode. Passing one minute, 12 seconds into the flight. Good engine control. One minute, 23 seconds, passing Mach 1, vehicle going transonic, also passing Max Q, maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle. Passing one minute, 30 seconds. Altitude now passing 7.8 nautical miles, velocity 22,064 feet per second, downrange distance 2.2 nautical miles. One minute, 46 seconds in. Chamber pressure's holding well in all three boosters. Passing one minute, 50 seconds. Still looking good. Now begun to pressurize the hydrazine system in the second stage. Those hydrazine uh, lines will be used for ACS propellant or attitude control system propellant during second stage flight. Two minutes, 12 seconds in. Altitude now passing 16.4 nautical miles, velocity 4,008 feet per second, downrange distance 12.8 nautical miles. Two minutes, 25 seconds in, still looking good. Good chamber pressure on the port and core and starboard boosters. Good full power modes in the port and starboard boosters, good partial thrust in the core. 
Two minutes, 41 seconds in. The Delta IV vehicle now only weighs one half of what it did at launch. The weight is decreasing by 4,885 pounds per second. Passing two minutes, 50 seconds. At the three minute mark, our altitude is 27.6 nautical miles, velocity 7,173 feet per second, downrange distance 45 nautical miles. Next major event will be the uh, strap-on CBCs uh, commanded to the partial thrust mode. That'll be about 20 seconds from now. At that point, all three boosters will be in partial thrust mode. Three minutes, 30 seconds in. Standing by for that partial thrust command, about 10 seconds from now. And we see partial thrust levels in the boosters. Standing by for separation. And we have Miko, main engines have cut off in the port and starboard, standing by for SEP. And we have separation. Good separation on the port and starboard boosters. The core booster is now throttling up to full power. Good full power mode in the core booster. We'll be in uh, this mode for about another minute and a half until the end of first stage flight. Four minutes, 30 seconds in. Still looking good. Altitude now 53 nautical miles, velocity 15,239 feet per second, downrange distance 198 nautical miles. Four minutes, 55 seconds in, good engine control in the first stage. Now passing five minutes, mark five minutes in, altitude 59 nautical miles, velocity 17,953 feet per second, downrange distance 266 nautical miles. Five minutes, nine seconds in. Getting that command to partial thrust about uh, 15 seconds from now. And we have the command for partial thrust standing by for Miko. And we have Miko, the main engine has cut off, standing by for one, two, sep. One, two, sep. Second stage has separated from the first stage. Ned's deploy is in work. Ned's is deploying. EMA is unlocked, the engine is clear to move. And we have ignition, ignition on the second stage. Second stage chamber pressure's rising. Good chamber pressure on the second stage. Recovering from the initial uh, transient of the second stage ignition. Good stable burn. Six minutes, 17 seconds in. Altitude now passing 78 nautical miles. Good stable burn, good uh, engine control in the second stage. Standing by for fairing separation. And fairing separation, good fairing separation at six minutes, 48 seconds into the flight. This is Delta Mission Control at L plus 6 minutes, 59 seconds into the mission. And we've just seen the successful liftoff of the NRO L-15 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. Liftoff occurred at 9.15 a.m. Eastern Time. I'd like to thank Steve Agate for his support of today's launch broadcast, providing launch vehicle ascent data during the flight. And at the request of our customer, we'll now conclude our live televised launch broadcast of this Delta IV mission. For more information about the Delta IV, please visit our website at www.ulalaunch.com. And we'll leave you now with another look at this spectacular liftoff of the Delta IV Heavy with the NRO L-15 payload on board. 
I'm Don Spencer. Thank you for joining us on behalf of the entire launch team, and have a great day. Seven, six, five, four, three. And the RS-68A engines roar to life and lift off of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV Heavy, carrying the NRO L-15 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. NRO systems continue to ensure vigilance from above. Good chamber pressure and holding. 